Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a little project share using um, the uh, dies from the Scrap Diva uh, designs release for November. So I'm sharing with you some of the um, design team projects that I am making. Uh, so I think I already shared these with you, these on a previous um, video that I did for um, BB Craft because I was using some of their charms and stuff. But um, again, I was using these gorgeous little elf bows. I love these. They're so cute. And they come in three different sizes. This one I kind of turned the, you know, the, the little flag ends down and use little dangles and they're just so cute and so versatile and if you don't want to be an elf it could be used any time of the year because you don't have to add on the little tips or the little elf things and a lot of people well I see like on this one I kind of um I have wrapped around the little elf piece um that you put on there sometimes I just attach it like right here on the top and let it kind of just stand out kind of like that so it gives it kind of a different look so there's a couple ways you could different ways you can do it but anyway so fun so <clears throat> like i said i already shared those on um a previous video um these i shared a picture of on instagram but i thought i'd come on and show you all the different ones so these are this is featuring the um christmas words one and two there's three sets i I just received two in my design team package. So I'm using sets one and two, and I think, I can't remember, I think I used some from both sets on this on these projects, but um, I just have some ruffled paper under here, and then I layered up. This is some of that um, pastel uh, foil paper from that Michaels had on sale. So it's uh, like five different pastel colors. So I grabbed some of that, and it's backed on uh, white glitter paper, and then some chipboard pieces from the collection that I'm using which is um, snowflake from crate paper and then I made some little poinsettias out of a die that I had in my stash already and then if you notice the base I'm using for my tag this is the um, this is the ghost tag from Erica's release um, for for Halloween so that's the ghost tag right there but I like the size of it and I like the roundness of it so you know it doesn't have to be used just for just for Halloween it makes a perfect little little tag so love that so I did a couple different ones got a couple of them with flowers they're kind of you know real similar but using the different words uh, this one's got a little bell piece and some puffy stickers and just kind of a variety of different things to <clears throat> look cute there's another one with a flower puffy sticker this one I used like a puffy heart I had in my stash and then another puffy sticker with the candy Holly. So I think those turned out really cute. And then I have um, one more, and I use it on this next item that I'm going to share with you. This is using two more of the die sets. Now this is from, this here, the base, is the um, uh, Memory Dex Gingerbread Shaker. So um, I did all the parts except for, and I actually had the Memory Dex part down here, and then I just trimmed it off once I got done because I decided I didn't want a memory dex out of this one, so I just made it like an ornament. So and it's a shaker, and I have all the I used all the other layering pieces and everything, and then I used pieces from the um, ornament uh, ornament branch and uh, wreath set, I think it is called. So it has some circles too, but it's a smaller circle than this. Um, so I just took some of the a bunch of the branches and layered them up, cut them out of the coordinating pattern papers from this collection. I layered them up there and a couple of the poinsettias I made. And then I used another, then this is the other tag that I had made with cocoa. And um, it's the ghost tag again. Use a snowflake back here and then a little flower here, puppy sticker. Then I stuck some more little sprigs coming out of there. I think it turned out really cute. So I had made a couple, um, of these already with the um, actual uh, memdex attached but this one i decided to make an ornament so anyway <clears throat> that's what i have been working on lately 
Um, so that's what I have to share with you today. So thank you so much for watching. I will link everything that I used below. And um, yeah, make sure you go check out Erica's website. <clears throat> here's her, here's the website. This is all her social media. Make sure you follow along with the hashtag, <clears throat> excuse me, Scrap Diva Designs for lots of inspiration there. Um, if you decide to purchase any of the dies, uh, make sure you use my code POLKA10, that's P-O-L-K-A-10. Um, that'll save you 10% off at checkout. And I'll also um, link my affiliate link. Uh, so that makes it uh, easy for you to get to the dies if you're interested in any of them and it shares a little bit of the um, profit with me. Um, it doesn't cost you any more and I really appreciate it. I'd like to say thank you to everybody who has used that um, at the, to this point. So it's, it's very helpful. So thank you so much. And um, if you have any questions or anything else I can help you with, just uh, leave a comment and um, I'll get back to you. But yeah, these are some fun dies. Go check them out. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye-bye.